What's up, people? Some of you think Pendulum is not the best deck. Well, guess what? Let me prove you wrong, baby! Let's go! Yo, what's up everyone? This is going to be a fast duel for you guys to learn the new meta because I think this deck will be viable in the new meta. So get ready, get your notepads out and start learning. This is going to be Pendulum versus Orcus, which I think is going to be a decent meta deck uh, in this upcoming format. He goes first and I'm like, yo, bro, do your worst. I'm OTKing your ass through that garbage Orcus board because Penma's deck, baby, you already know. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the like button, check out the beautiful trip game play mats in the description below. And for anyone that's ordered the trip game play mats, it will be a little late because of Corona. But as, so as soon as stuff, it'll be there super fast. Uh, he called it Judge because I was doing push-ups on stream. And I tell him, bro, do you know who I am? I'll take all the time I want. So he ends up with this garbage board of Mascarena, Dengirsu, uh, called by and DD Crow. I'm like, ha! That's it. You're gonna, bro. You are gonna disrespect the pen god by putting up a sorry ass Mascarena, Dingirsu called by the grave and Diddy Crow, and not think I'm gonna OTK your ass into the Shadow Realm. What the hell are you smoking? After after shock, you're about to be taken into shock by the best deck. So I'm doing. A, I'm using a new list here, which I will showcase at the very end of this video. It is absolutely amazing. I really like this new list. Uh, utilizing some old cards that I used before. But what he does here is he Dengirsus gets rid of the Servant. Now, he's up with the opportunity here. If he wants, he can Nightmare Unicorn the Cerberus. But he feels his DD Crow <laughs> and Lightning Storm are too viable and valuable. So I'm like, uh, okay, he decides not to. I assume he has a good hand. Now, I'm going to pop off here. Look at this hand. Look at this hand. I cannot lose. It is physically impossible to lose. He shows his DD Crow. He shows his call by the grave. He says, I apologize for wasting your time, Sir Pengod. You're playing the best deck. I can't do anything. So we now move on to game two, where this is a great learning curve and situation for every single person watching right now. He, look at his hand. He's going to have, he kind of bricks here, but he's going to have Cyclone and Valor and a, a Needle Fiber plays. And I want to show you guys right now, why Needle Fiber is scary? He bricks. He doesn't even have an Orcus combo. But you guys are going to see why Needle Fiber is actually very scary against our deck if their extra deck is built to beat decks like ours or other backer decks, whatever it may be. So we're going to activate a server here where he opts to go Wonder Magician to pop the card. Now, he doesn't just pop the Servant, but he synchros again. So he gets one interruption from one Needle Fiber, and then Needle Fiber is going to go into Boral Savage. So he's going to get one interruption, two interruption, three interruption, four. Now, this is still easy. All you got to do is just clear the board and you win because he doesn't have any follow-up. So he negates the lore, and again, I'm pretty sure I'm getting stream sniped here. Because why the hell with four cards in hand would you negate an allure of darkness? This is a pretty obvious stream snipe, but it is something that you gotta deal with. Uh, it's with sniping, right? It's okay. If I was playing in real life with my beautiful Celine playmat, no one is allowed to stream snipe. Instead, they will just bow to the greatness that is the Celine playmat, which you get on TripGaming.com, etc., etc. Et uh, so yeah, anyways, let's, let's move forward here. And we're going to use the souls on institution and he veilers it. I would not veil a souls if I'm drawing one card. So I'm pretty sure he's sniping for sure. But we're going to make the most of it. We're going to normal summon the time gazer. We did not normal summon the end of the turn. We're going to activate Crowley. He has nothing left. To my opinion, this is some dead card. I don't know what it is. Maybe another lore or something. I did not expect a cosmic cycle. But we're going to activate. Uh, we're going to end up drawing. Uh, yeah, we get knowledge now. This is our hand. I'm like, okay, this is great. And I activate the Cerberus. I'm going to summon the Cerberus Jackal. I'm going to get rid of the Savage Dragon by the effect of Cerberus. I'm going to attack into the Synchron. He has no monsters on field. I auto win the duel right now. And I'm going to activate the effect of Jackal. I had an option if I want to special the Chrono and the Reflection. But then Cerberus will not get counters. And I will not be able to kill the Boral Savage. So the best play is to get scales, clear the board. And next turn I can Pen Summon and kill him. Uh, what does he end up doing? He ends up Cosmic Cycloning my Jackal King. Absolutely rest, rest in peace to my Jackal. See you never, to be honest, is very sad. Now, uh, things are looking not the greatest, but I'm like, you know what? Savage has no negates. I'm just going to activate Reflection, Chrono. I'm going to Pendulum Summon a card. 
and uh, get rid of the Jetson Cron, and he literally has no play left. He has no play left. He has to top deck something. He has no play left. We're good. Next turn, Pensimo, we win. He top decks a like Skeleton. So unfortunate because there's no actual Orcus cards that can normal summon except for Skeleton. <laughs> so this is so damn unfortunate because he's going to dig gears to one of our scales. So I'm like, damn, we're back in the top decking. It's unfortunate. He's, I think Babel, I think he should have got Orcs to return. What I think he should have done was go to Gearsu, get rid of a Reflection, and then Orcs to return the Gearsu to draw two cards, potentially get into another hand trap or a staple. Uh, but he ended up Babel. I end up getting a Cerberus. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, we needed the Desires anyways. We needed some plus one card there. And we could have destroyed Top Deck's Mathematician. I'm like, all right, you win. Uh, there was my, a big mistake on my end, though. He Top Deck Mathematician, and I'm getting PTSD from Harpoor, not realizing that that shit's banned. So anything he sent with Mathematician, he had no actual play. So that was a big misplay on my end to actually give up. Big mistake. I always preach never give up, and we couldn't win that game. I thought he was going to full Orcus combo after the Mathematician, but all he was sending was a Brass Bombard, which he couldn't do anything with. So he might have Galatea to Gearsu. We still had a chance. I shouldn't have given up there. That was my mistake. He makes us... Oh, sorry. We're going first now. We have five spells, but unfortunately, the Tool of Lore doesn't do anything for us with no Dark. The Terraform is getting a Secret Village, which doesn't do anything for a combo. Institution can't add shit right now. Uh, so it's looking pretty bleak, to be honest. We activate Upstar Goblin. We get into a Mastery. I'm like, okay, things are looking good. We have some cards that can store counters. Unfortunately, though, uh, still no Dark. So we kind of have three useless cards, right? Four useless cards, to be honest. But we're going to make the most of it. I want you guys to see how what we're going to do with this hand, which seems so useless, right? But I want you guys to see the new card that I added into the deck that makes all this very useful. So, welcome back to the deck, Mini Jackal. I added the Institution to add a Mini Jackal. What Mini Jackal does is it makes Allure better. It makes Institution better. It makes Abductor better. That is nine cards in your deck. It makes Cerberus better. It makes so many cards in the deck better. It kind of completes the deck. I took the Mini Jackal out of the deck because I felt it bricked sometimes. But... Because it makes a lore better, institution better, it now allows you to actually play institution, which I thought was honestly sucked. Without, <laughs> without uh, Mini Jackal, I did not like institution. But Mini Jackal is going to save our ass here. We get rid of one counter to search it. Now we have an Allure Darkness target, which after the lore, now our hand's looking a lot better. We're going to Allure one more time, we're triggering the Servant. And I'm like, okay, he might have Dark Ruler or something. But whatever it is, it's going to get his ass whooped. You can Dark World all he wants because we got Secret Village. So we good. I'm going to now show him my absolute fury for losing to this garbage deck in game two. I want you guys to see how I'm going to do this board. So as you see, I ought to go up Doctor because I knew I had a Cerberus. I wanted the Institution to get some extra free counters just in case. You get a free plus from this. Keep the second Jackal in the deck for Cerberus to add. And I'm going to add a free Souls. Do you see the plus already? We went from nothing to something to broken. Uh, we're going to activate Crowley. Still no, we did not normal summon yet. We're still no blue boy yet. We're going to get some free pluses. The doctor in the hand is going to get some spell counters. Very typical. We went from nothing to remarkable. And we're going to draw two cards. Look, like, look at this hand. We went from literally nothing to 20 negates. Uh, we're going to activate the souls here. I uh, choose the center reflection. It's good to have something like a reflection. <laughs> we draw with souls so you get a desires. I'm like, bro, this is not even fair. I'm going to, if I really want to, I can deck out. I'm up for four cards in my deck. I could enter the void, I have three cards. I could Magister, I'd have two cards in my deck. I could draw, I'd have one card in my deck if I really want to. Uh, but we're not trying to deck ourselves, though. we're trying to win. So what I do here, I'm up with so many options here. I'm like, okay, I can do literally so much shenanigans and cool stuff, but why overcomplicate things with such a broken hand? So what am I going to do? I'm going to Pendulum Summit. I'm going to go into Absolute. I'm like, I could do so much cool stuff with Cross Sheep here. I used to lean, bring up Blue Boy, just make Masquerade. I could do so much cool stuff here. I'm like, okay, look at this. So, like, this is Village, Celine, Summon a Mighty Master. Look at this. I choose not even into the Void. There's no reason to. I have a Protection for Mighty... Three Protection from e three Evenly Matched. Because Mighty Master on the gate, Vortex on the gate, and another Mighty Master on the gate. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Negates slash Interruptions. And a Seeker Village. Seven interruptions here. That's fucking... That's just a good game, bro. Good game. Just scoop it up right now. I don't care what the hell you have. There's no hand in existence to stop this. Would you like to Sphere Mode me? No problem. If you Sphere Mode me, I still have four more interruptions. You cannot Normal Summon with Orcus and you have five cards left. Let's look at his hand. Cosmic Cyclone going second. Nice deck. Phantom O-Line. Nice deck. Co uh, two Cosmic Cyclones. Your deck's so good. You're the greatest deck builder of the planet. Gizmek Orochi. Great deck. You're an amazing player. Armageddon Knight, <laughs> Jackal of Fuck, Babel, nice deck. So, as you guys see here, no deck on the planet is a match for Pendulums. 
On my Patreon, I destroy every single meta deck. I have yet to do Orcus, so I felt instead of Patreon, I'll be uploading this How to Get Better at Pendulum video on the YouTube. But that's the video, so I hope you guys like it. Pendulum best deck by far, nothing is on our level. And again, if you want to support your boy, smash the subscribe button, almost a 30,000 subscribers.